Breaking news this morning, Dr. Myers. I mean, I think that that is one of the competitive advantages for Fendex Technologies as you set out milestones and you achieve them. And you just announced another deal here with Dunmore International Corp. Can you talk to us about the development of your Repel Wrap film with Dunmore, please? So we're really excited about the news, Tracy, that we uh, released this morning. Um, we are going to engage with Dunmore for a second pilot run on their commercial manufacturing line. And uh, this comes after having done an initial pilot run with them back in September, where they confirmed that our formulation for Repel Rep Film could be automated for commercial production. And what they were able to show was that these films uh, repelled as did the lab prototypes that we had with McMaster. And let me just say what this means, because to me, this is a real testament to us being able to technically be able to move this forward. When we did the licensing agreement with McMaster University, we obviously licensed the, the IP, but we also licensed a film, a prototype film that was literally the size of a quarter with the nanotechnology on it. And it took essentially 24 hours to make that film. What we were able to accomplish in our first run was to uh, automate the process, make sheets and sheets of it, thousands of feet of sheets of coated film in literally minutes. So that's what we've been able to achieve over the last two years. And the next step is refinement of the formulation, the processes, and we're ready to do our second pilot run with Dunmore in November. And of course, I encourage anyone new to Fendex Technologies to take a look at their news releases. You're putting out news releases on our regularly. And so in addition to this, can you tell us how Fendex plans to incorporate real world environment conditions into the testing of a repel wrap uh, film during this next stage of development? Yeah, so this after the second pilot run, the intention is to then go out and test our films that were created from the pilot runs in the real world settings to look at how uh, real world environmental conditions affect the films. So we have a, we are going to be engaging with a couple of different uh, partners to be able to do uh, real world test real world testing um, in situations where it's on push doors or situations where it's is exposed to the the outer environment and see how those films perform um, relative to the the performance we've seen in in the lab. And the, we anticipate that they will, uh, you know, be very stable after these these conditioning tests. And if that's the case, then the next step will be to to move into commercial production, which we anticipate will be early next year. And of course, you have a very impressive professional career, Dr. Myers, and an, an extraordinary ability to attract world class talent. Can you tell us a little bit about the team that you're putting together? and how you're planning on pulling this off? <laughs> Good question. Well, first of all, uh, yes, you're right. I have quite a, quite a track record in my career. Um, I, uh, I, I have spent most of my career in senior level positions within large cap pharma companies in, in New Jersey. And uh, in, in my tenure have launched 25 plus different uh, products uh, as well as done 50 plus M&A and licensing deals and have been the president of two different pharmaceutical companies. If there's one thing I love and I do, it's, it's to lead and grow companies and, and build success. And uh, I've done it many times and that's what we're doing here at Fendex. And so I've pulled together a team. Andrea Mulder is my COO who is my partner in crime here, who together, she's the operator, I'm the visionary strategist and the leader. Um, together, we work synergistically to move our projects forward. She herself has launched over 10 products uh, in Canada and um, you, you know has a, a very, very strong track record on the commercial side. And, um, and together we work synergistically. And just by virtue of the fact that we have both launched so many products and have prepared markets for these products and have been successful, we're gonna do the same thing with our 
products as we move forward and commercialize them. Our lead product is Repel Rep Film. We just talked about that. And, it, you know, once we get into commercial production and ultimately to a commercial product, we will then introduce it first into the Canadian market uh, through distributors and we will prepare or prime the market. We'll build the awareness. We'll do everything that is, is necessary to be done so that the market uh, quickly adopts our product for utilization within, within um, their settings. Again, we've done it many times. We know what we're doing. Um, we've worked in many of the markets we're planning to go to uh, when the product is, is ready for commercialization. L healthcare is one of them. Both of us have very strong track records on that front, and we literally just know what to do. <laughs> We've done it so many times. So we're really excited where, as to where we are and, and, and potentially where we're going. Well, I have taken the time and looked at the background of management. Very impressive. You are achieving milestones regularly. I tell investors all the time, pay attention. Do they say, do they, do they commit? and achieve the goals they say they're going to achieve. So what should we as shareholders anticipate, say, in the next upcoming quarter? So uh, the first thing is we're going to do our second pilot run with, with Don Moore, as we've talked about. So stay tuned. There'll be news on that uh, in the next few weeks. And uh, in, following that, um, you know, after we complete that run, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, announcing who we will do our pilot testing, or, sorry, our beta testing with uh, to, to test real world uh, environmental conditions. And in addition to that, uh, we, we recently on October the 26th signed a, a master services agreement with a nanoparticles expert uh, R&D and manufacturing company uh, to, to uh, transfer our formulation for our spray product for um, them to adapt the, adapt the formula to their manufacturing processes to then go and do some, some pilot run scale ups to, to make larger batches of our spray. So we're following the same track that we did with Repel Wrap Film with our spray. And, uh, you know, the next step is to transfer the formulation to them. And, you know, there'll be news coming out on that in the near future as well as we as we continue to develop the spray. And then the third project is uh, to co-catheters. We uh, McMaster has been able to show in early studies that if you coat the plastic of, that catheters are made of with our nanotechnology, they can prevent bacteria as well as blood from sticking to the surface. And as you probably know, those are the two bacterial biofilms and blood clots are the two culprits that cause blo catheter blockage, which can be a real problem and can be costly to the medical system. So we're very interested in moving that project forward. And I suspect you'll hear more news about that as we move forward into the in, into the end of the year and into next year as well. So those are just a few things, as well as our external uh, uh, exploration of, of licensing or acquisition opportunities. As I said before, I'm an M&A licensing person. I know that if you're gonna grow a company, you can't just do it internally. So we are actively looking and, and um, reviewing uh, potential in licensing opportunities and acquisitions. Excellent wisdom and advice shared with you here today on Investor News. And for more information on Fendex Technologies, please go to the following website. Carolyn, as always, it's such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.